Hello and welcome again to our channel. In today's video we are going to see how to make a circular or orbital motion in Photoshop. Okay, in Photoshop we, we start by creating new platform 1000 by 1000. give it the background color and then we put our guide layout to center our work and then we go <coughs> and then we go to create a circle as we learned in the previous video we press shift and then we release the mouse stroke and then we have the perfect circuit from the center we had selected then we will draw a smaller circuit from here okay we press shift again to make it perfectly circular and then we release the mouse click and the shift. Now we have two circles. We need to rotate this small circle around this the bigger one. So we can come here and then we need select. Okay, and then this point is called the the rotation center uh, of our body. So if we make a rotation while the rotation center is in this position, the circle will be rotating around itself in its location, but we need to return to rotate around the bigger circle. Uh, to rotate around the, around the bigger circle, we need this center of rotation to come to this center. Okay, and then we are going to transform. We make Control T. We have the transform attributes appearing. And then in the angle, we press 90. Okay, we will see it is coming perfectly. 90 degrees relative to the first position. If we come to edit, transform, and send again, okay, we'll see nothing happening because it is in the 90 degrees already. Transformation. So if I need to make it another to return to continue returning, so I put here 180, it's coming 180, and then I can put it does not have. Uh, 250 degrees because it's 180 minus 180. So I can come here and give it 90 degrees. It's coming back. I will give it minus 90 degrees. Then it's coming to this position. Like this, I moved it in the four quadrants around the the orbit I had uh, I had made. If you can see this center of rotation uh, in your version of, of Photoshop, simply you need to come to edit. Transform or free transform. This menu will be appearing on the very left in this position. You can see that this check mark and this uh, nine or ten squares. These nine squares are representing the positions. If I move it to here, you can see that the center of rotation is changing and it's still rotating around itself. In this position, if I rotate it to 90 degrees, you'll see that it is rotating in another orbit. It's rotating around this point. So I can make it also this one. 180, you see it's rotating around this center of rotation, this new center uh, of rotation. If I change the center of rotation to here, for example, it will be around the, this center of rotation, and so on. It's, it's defining this center of rotation uh, based on the bounding box uh, of, the, uh, of the shapes that I'm having. Okay, if this one is unticked, you don't find this center of rotation and you cannot make this one, this angle. So if you make here, for example, the angle to 90. Okay, you can see nothing because you, you cannot change the center of rotation uh, of your body. Uh, if you have a square, of course, or a rectangle, you will see it rotating, but it's, you cannot work with the center of rotation. For example, if I make a square here. Okay, I make a square like this one. Okay, and then I make I go to, to the transform control T and I tell it transform it is 90 degrees. It is rotating in its position, but I, I don't have a control around the uh, the center of rotation I am selecting. Okay, so but now if I come and click this check mark, and uh, now it is rotating around its normal center of the drawing. If I need to rotate it, to rotate it in a different way, because this will help us, for example, to draw a clock or something like that. So if I come to here, it's rotating around uh, this point. So, if I from here I give it 
pretend to see, you see it's rotating around this point, not around the, its uh, center of the rotation uh, of the body itself, of the center of gravity of the body. Now 90, I can give it 180. Okay, you see it's coming totally, it's rotating around uh, this point. If I change the center of rotation, okay, if I change that to this point, for example, which is, I need to change it to this point. Okay, totally opposite here at this point. I need, and I need to advance it for 90 degrees. You see, it is rotating totally around this point. So now we see how to rotate. Uh, figures and how to find our center of rotation and to make it outside uh, the body to rotate. We can repeat this for once more if we select the, the big circle, our big circle, we make selection. Now you see the center of rotation is here, so whatever I rotated in its position will not be at end. So if I change it to center of rotation to here, for example, and then I make control T to make this center of rotation, uh, rotation angles appearing, and then 90, you see it is rotating around this uh, center of rotation not around its uh, gravity center. Thank you for following so far. I hope this video was of help to you. In the coming videos we will see how to make to record a video using Photoshop and to change to make it as a GIF for completely rotating uh, or orbital movement of two circles around each other. Thank you very much for following so far.